Good day, learners. Welcome back to our class. So, I hope you are all ready for today's lesson. Today, we are going to discuss another sport, which is swimming. But as a pleasurable activity, alam ko sa ganitong panahon na may pagka maulan at malamig, hindi natin masyadong naiisip ang paglangoy. But we will still discuss this right now because we never know, maybe next summer we can go out for a swimming or a swim. Come on, let's start. In any sports activity, coaches ask swimmers to do this warm-up exercise to loosen their muscle for better flexibility and endurance in the water. So, neck exercises, arms and chest exercises, trunk exercises, leg and feet exercises, jogging in place and breathing exercises. You can also do these exercises before doing any physical activity. Number one is swimming. Swimming is a form of water activity that can provide endless pleasure. So, marami sa atin ang mahilig lumangoy o maglaro sa tubig. Swimming is both a recreational and competitive activity. But of course, if you want to join competition, you must have proper training with professionals. So, swimming is an art of propelling the body through the water, consisting of several motions by the use of the arms and the legs. Now, let's discuss the different styles of stroke in swimming. So, the first one is freestyle or the crawl. This is the most commonly used stroke in swimming because it is easier to learn and it is also less tiring. So, kadalasan, natututunan ito ng mga bata ng sila lang. So, pwede itong subukang gawin kahit sa mababaw na tubig lamang. So, these are the simple steps to do freestyle. So, chest down in the water. Perform flutter kick. As the arm is brought forward, the head comes up to inhale at the same time. Face turned down to exhale through the nose or mouth. The second one is the backstroke, which, as the term implies, the swimmer floats with his or her back on the water. Here are the simple steps to do the backstroke. So, one arm over the head out of the water while the other is in the water. Arms movement is done alternately to complete the forward pulling motion. So, arm movement is synchronized with leg movements to move the body forward through the water. The next one is the breaststroke. This style is efficient for covering long distances. So, here how to do it. Float on chest. Both arms push forward from under the chest to pull extension at the surface of the water. Both legs are drawn up with the knee bent and spread outward. Then, head is held above the water. The fourth one is called the side stroke. This technique is considered as the least tiring among the swimming strokes. To do this, follow the simple steps. Lay on either side of the body. Perform scissors kick wherein a leg is moved in front of the other. The last one is the butterfly stroke. This technique is utilized in competitions. This requires great strength for short distances as in a pool. To do this, follow these steps. Legs move using dolphin kick, which is a variation of the frog kick. 
arms are moved forward over the water simultaneously with the legs. Practice swimming with the presence of responsible adults, especially if you are a beginner. So that's it for today. I hope you learn a lot. See you next time. Thank you and God bless.